I grew up in Provence, in south of France, and uh, I got married, and my husband lived in Paris, and that's how I came to live in Paris. I have to tell you, at that time, you couldn't get a flat in Paris, and I have to live with my mother-in-law, who was very charming. But I was bored, and my husband didn't want me to work. So we had a friend who had a friend who worked for Dior. He said, why don't you become a, a model? Because he, he knew I had the physique. And he said, I, I introduce you to André. He's a copain of mine. And, uh, and André said, OK, you can work for me. And I worked for him maybe for a, a few, few months. And one day I take a lift with Monsieur Dior. And Monsieur Dior said, Mademoiselle, what are you doing here? I said, I work for André Levasseur. He said, not anymore, you work for me now. So that was in, in 53, I think. We worked two hours a day from two to five. When, when we made the collection, that was very tough because we worked for hours and hours standing up and all the fitting and again and again and again and uh, until late night. Monsieur Dior was very intelligent that he had girl completely different. Old one, young one. To one, uh, uh, when he took Victoire, she was the sexy type. I mean, you know, it's good for the client because they can see themselves. And some of the model were classic. Me, René, we, we were really what he likes, you know, the, the, the classic one. France only had, uh, she was beautiful and tall and she was lovely in evening dresses and she looked wonderful. And uh, Ella, I found her fantastic because she was like a, like a panther, you know, she walked like that. She, oh, she was superb. One day, he looked at me and he said, Odile, you look beautiful in that dress, so I take it away from you. Because I don't want people to look at you. I want people to look at my dress. I was very upset. <laughs> and I don't think the face had anything to do with your, I don't, he, he, what he wanted is, is to see his dress walking and moving in the right body. That's what he liked. I loved him. I loved him like a father. I'd do anything for him and I'm not the only one. He's such a, a gentleman, um, very considerate. Uh, I don't know, it's something you develop immediately. You know, you like people or you don't like people. And we loved him. It was like a family. But it was a very happy time in my life and not expected, if you like. I still have a coat that I still wear. And when I go out, all oh, the friends say, where did you buy it? And I say, I can't say, it's 60 years old. <laughs> what was wonderful, when we travel, we can wear all the Dior things. We went to New York, we went to South Africa, we went here. Uh, twice, once with Dior and one with Saint Laurent. And uh, we were extremely well received. And we always have had a big head, I love it. But uh, uh, it, it gives you a lot of confidence wearing the beautiful clothes, which I made for you. The clothes were in the cabin and we each had a, a woman who dressed up because you have to be very quick. And especially, uh, we, uh, some girl like me, because I'm classic and René, we had 20 odd uh, things. So we had all sorts of morning, evening, all sorts. So we had to be very quick. And we had wonderful women, you know, who just did that. There are some you like better than others, of course. But you had to wear what, what was told, you have to wear that. All these girls, they're tall and they've got big feet and I happened to have small feet. So all the shoes were made of me. I, I went to Georgie Vivier a hundred times and uh, uh, I had such a collection of shoes, but I, I gave it away or I threw it away. I don't know, I haven't got anything yet. The atmosphere was lovely, you know. Uh, first of all, we were with so brilliant people. People you don't know, nobody knew. There are people who make the dresses and all that. They were fantastic. The premier d'atelier, they were superb. And I'm very 
lucky to have known that. And, and the, even the little girl who made the boutonniere, you know, the little thing. It, it, it was a fantastic experience. And two, when you prepare the collection, you have all this, you have the drawing, okay, but you have all the clothes, all, all the, it's fascinating. You have people, they are so brilliant, they bring clothes with a, a, a pearl, a, 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 all sort of, of the, I mean, it's, it's so interesting. I loved it. Uh, Yves Saint Laurent uh, was a, a young boy when he came to Dior, but very talented, and you could see that immediately. And the first collection he made for Dior was superb, because it was Dior, but younger. It was superb. I had a most beautiful collection with him the first time.